What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create sheets in Revit 2022. So we are already done with our modeling, our building. So as you can see, it's already built up. So this is now your structure. So if you have your architectural model, you might want to link this to your architectural model and do the coordination. Or if you are doing some MEP, you can link this together with the architectural model to your project so you can start your uh, MEP modeling. Okay, so this time let us learn how to create the sheets. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I go to the manage tab and then from here I go look on the uh, project information. So let's check out the project information here and then let us put some information on our project. So like for example for the organization so let's say I'll just put here uh, learning with rich okay and then after that, so you can put the organization description, the building name, and then the author. So let's I'll just put my name. And then what is the issue date of the project? So let's say the issue is today, December 25, 2021. And then the project status. So let's say, um, let's say initial draft. And then for the client name, so this is owned by ABC Development. Then you can also put the address here. So let's click the ellipsis button and then you can put the address. So let's say, for example, 12345 uh, Main Street, any, any town, New Zealand. Okay, and let me just put some number for the zip code. All right, and then I'll just select your OK. So what else? So you can also put the project name here. So the project name is uh, Technical School. So I'll just put here Queenstown technical school and then the project number is um, okay one uh, two one zero zero one dash zero one there you go okay <clears throat> because this information if these parameters are included to your title block you will be able to see this uh, information on your title block if these uh, parameters are inserted to your title block okay then after that just select your okay so by the way if you want to know how to understand your title block how to create your title block i actually have a playlist on that one i created a playlist for that i created this uh, videos on learning how to create the boundaries placing text and labels creating shared parameters and inserting image uh, creating revision schedule and creating the project specific key plan this is very useful especially when you are learning revit so you'll be able to understand how the parameters works in your uh, sheets or title block okay so after we uh, put some information on our project information so let us now create a sheet so to create a sheet all you have to do is go to your project browser and then just right click the sheets here just right click that and then just select here new sheet okay just select that one and then you just select here the title block that is loaded so if you're looking on your title block and it's not here so you just need to select load here and then locate that title block that you would like to use but uh, most likely since you are using a company uh, template project template so the title blocks are already loaded here all you have to do is to select it so let's say for example i'm going to select this one that's the title block i'll be using and then i'll select here okay and here's now my title block the sheet so as you can see like what i have said earlier so you can see now here the information that we have typed a while ago now let me just change the format of the date here so I can go to the properties 
because this parameter is also here on the properties uh, no no it's not here so let me just modify from here so so this one should be a uh, day month year enter there you go and then you can uh, further modify it by putting the drawn by so let's say I'll just put rich and then or in some company they just put their initials so RPG and then the checker is that one and then after that you can now put the name here so let's say for example let me just put here um, 0 1 and 3 level and 3 level okay right and then just click outside and then again you can still put more information here okay so the moment you place your view inside the project so what will happen is automatically this scale here will gonna be populated okay but basically that's how you create your sheets in Revit on our next video we are going to create section and call out views and then after that we're going to learn how to place those views inside your uh, title block okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day